Heroin, cocaine, LSD, bath salts, sugar. What do these things have in common? Well, you can become addicted to them. Now I know, comparing cocaine to sugar might seem a little bit extreme, but as it turns out, it's actually an apt comparison. You see, there are two neurotransmitters in your brain, one called dopamine and one called serotonin. These are the feel-good chemicals in your brain. So when you intake cocaine, these neurotransmitters get released. Well, turns out, when you take in sugar, the exact same thing happens. So why is this important? Well, studies have shown that sugar addicts go through the exact same cycle as cocaine addicts or heroin addicts. Withdrawal, craving, and binging. We're going to break those down really quickly. Withdrawal symptoms occur when somebody is physiologically addicted to a substance. We know this as headaches, uh, migraines, nausea, vomiting, depression, being tired all the time which then leads to a craving. Now your body is actually quite smart and your body can recognize that, hey, I felt really good when I was eating cookies and cake and I feel really bad now that I've stopped. So maybe if I start eating cookies and cake again, I'll feel better. So you eat a cookie and it doesn't make you feel better. So then you eat five and it still doesn't make you feel any better. So now you're eating 10 and you feel a little bit better. Well, this is what's called binging, all right? As your dopamine and serotonin receptors become sensitized to the sugar intake, what ends up happening is you build up tolerance to sugar, just like you would alcohol or cocaine. So what you end up having to do is intake more sugar to feel the same way as you did before. So as you build up tolerance to sugar and then need to take in more to stimulate the same feel-good effect, you end up taking in more sugar, which means more calories in a day. Sugar is four calories per gram. So the more sugar you intake, the more calories you're taking in over the day. If you take in more calories in a day than you can burn, what you end up doing is building fat, which then leads to diseases like obesity. Obesity can then lead to other diseases such as type 2 diabetes, which is one of the more preventable diseases out there. Think about the last time you were at a restaurant and somebody was eating a really decadent dessert and they almost described it as a euphoric event. Well, on some small level, they're getting a little bit high. Not the same level as if you do a line of cocaine, mind you, but at the same time, you have to recognize that that is a small high that they're getting, and you can become very addicted very quickly to that high. So, if you are addicted to sugar, what can you do? Well, unfortunately, like all addictions, it requires lifelong changes. The best thing that you can do is go speak to your physician or a nutritionalist and start along the path of recovery. And I know I'm dramatizing you know, the whole addiction to sugar thing, but you have to recognize, you have to have a dealer to go get an illegal substance like cocaine or heroin, but you can just go to the corner store and grab a chocolate bar.